This video will cover the metalworked flywheel cup on a Briggs & Stratton engine. It will cover the function of the part, the properties that are required of the part, the evidence as to why the flywheel cup is known to be metalworked, and what steps were used in the manufacturing process to create the part. The flywheel cup is an integral part of the rewind starter mechanism featured on the Briggs & Stratton engine. The flywheel cup forms the mechanical interface between the starter mechanism and the rotating mass of the engine crankshaft and flywheel. The properties of a flywheel cup must include sufficient ductility to not suffer from critical damage or tear, being non-brittle so it doesn't shatter, have high strength to withstand impact, high heat resistance to avoid softening and deformation, high corrosion resistance to not undergo erosion, lightweight to minimize the weight of the engine. It is evident that the flywheel cup was made using metalworking techniques. From inspection of the part, there was no parting line present, an obvious sign that the part was not made using any form of casting. Furthermore, there is no sign of any surface roughness anywhere on the part. Also, on the inside of the cup, there are some sharp edges around the circumference of the hole in the center. This is a natural consequence of the metalworking process of piercing, which further suggests that the part was produced through metalworking. The flywheel cup does not possess a high enough structural complexity to warrant machining. Thus, it leads us to metalworking. The flywheel cup starts off as a large, thin sheet of metal. Then, smaller squares are blanked out of the sheet. These smaller squares are then deep drawn to give the shape of the part, including the grooves. Once the part has been deep drawn, it is likely that the next step in the production process is to pierce the hole at the base of the cup. The final step of the process is to trim off the excess material that may be present after the deep drawing process. It can be noted that all these steps could be sequenced in a progressive die set, punching out each flywheel cup in one single stroke, drastically increasing the speed that the part is made in, as well as reducing the manufacturing cost. <laughs>